And the simplest way during the test is just splitting it up, splitting the shaded regions up and finding the area of each region. So we're going to first split up the region, uh, the star into triangles. These triangles that are one by one, um, one by one, and there are eight of them. Two of them on each side. And then we have the center region that's a square, and it's two by two. And now we're going to find the area of this shaded region, these two shaded um, parts and regions. Okay, so for the triangles, the area of each triangle is one times one divided by two. Because to find the area of the triangle, um, base uh, the legs times the leg divided by two. Leg one times leg two divided by two. And we have eight of these triangles. So that is a total of four. So four is the area of the triangles. And for the square in the center, it's two by two. And it also has an area of four. And there's only one square, so we don't have to count that once. So four plus four is eight. That's the total area of the shaded region. And the entire over the entire, it's asking for the percentage of the entire four by four grid. So the four by four grid obviously just has an area of 16. Four times four is equal to 16. So it's asking the percent, that's 50% because it's eight over 16, which is one half or 50%. Now we're gonna move on to problem two. Now we're gonna move on to problem two. So as you see, we have, we are, presented with a combination of hieroglyphics and we have a table showing what each um, hieroglyphic is worth and we're going to start with the largest on the left so the largest on the left is this eye looking thing and we can find it on the table and it's worth 10,000 so we can write 10,000 and uh, we can get rid of, we can move on to the second one and not worry about the first one because the first one's now worth uh, 10,000. So that's going to add up to the total amount in the future. Okay, so we have four of this type of hieroglyphic, which is worth 100 as shown in the um, chart. So we have four times 100, which is the amount of each one is worth. And now we're going to move on to the, to the third type of hieroglyphic. So the third type of hieroglyphic, there's two of them, and they're each worth 10, as shown in the chart again. So total, they're worth 20. And now we're going to move on to the last and final type of hieroglyphic. And there, there are three of them, and they're each worth one. So basically, they have a total sum of three. And we can see if we did it right, because in the number 32, if we use the same method in finding, uh, if we didn't know that the number, uh, number 32 was represented, we can use the same method and see if we are correct. And there's three that are worth 10, um, two that are worth one, and that has a sum of 32. So it's basically like counting in base 10, where we have what each one's worth. And let's just say, let's just bring up an example, 332, 432. We have, we can rewrite this as 400 plus 30 plus two. And we can write this 400 as four times 100. We can write rewrite this 30 as 3 times 10, and where you can rewrite this 2 as 2 times 1. And again, they're just basically like these hieroglyphics. They're worth a, a one amount, and um, they add up to the total sum. So we can just add up the sum, right? Add up and find the sum right here, and we'll get um, 10,000. 
423. So the answer to this problem is going to be B. We're going to start by analyzing the problem. It reads, so this is the most important part. When Annika and three of her friends, so that means there's four um, uh, players in the card game, three and Annika, three and Annika makes four. Uh, each player is dealt 15 cards. So there's no cards remaining, and they're distributed e yeah, evenly. So there's 15 cards to each of the four players. So each player has 15 cards. That means 60. There's 60 cards in total, which means that this card game has 60 cards that can be dealt to the players. Suppose two more friends join the next game. So uh, adding on to the four that are already there, there's two more in the next game, making there six, uh, making sh uh, making sure, uh, making the total six. There's six players in the next game, and there's sixty cards still. There's still stick sixty cards to uh, deal, and how many cards will be dealt to each player? Since there's sixty cards and there's six players each, if we divide evenly, sixty divided by six, there will be ten cards given to each player making the answer C. So he starts with 100, and he counts backwards. And the problem already gives you the first three numbers. There's two ways of doing this. One is using brute force and just counting it manually and just going backwards by 7 and just listing all of them until you get the 10th number. We can do that. And honestly, if I was doing this during the test, I would probably use this method because it's sim simple and quick. And if you don't know the formula to solving this problem, then it makes your life much difficult, much, much more difficult. Okay, so we're just going to count backwards by sevens and we'll get, eventually, we'll get, and obviously your calculations have to be quick because you only have 40 minutes to solve all these problems. So uh, you will get 37 after uh, for your 10th number you'll get 37 and obviously there is a risk factor for doing this if you're doing it really quickly you might count wrong which is pretty bad but there is an answer choice for 37 so the answer choice is b but i'll show you a different method so the different method is just using a formula and it's the arithmetic sequence formula so we start with 100 and the difference is negative 7 between the first and second, second and third, and each term after that. The difference between uh, the difference is negative 7. So D is equal to negative 7. Now, there are, since 100 is first term, there's nine terms after that. And if we see an example, let's just say 193. This is the first number. This is the second number. And uh, from the first and second, there's one difference. There, we have to add, there's one difference in between them, which is just uh, negative 7. If we add negative, uh, negative 7 to 100, we get 93. And if we, if we want to go all the way up to this 10th number, which is x, we have to add how many differences. So between 1 and 2, there's one difference. And between 1 and 10, there should be 9 differences. Because if we see 2 minus 1 is 1, 10 minus, uh, 2 minus 1 is 1, and there's 1 difference. And 10 minus 1 is 9, so there should be 9 differences for it to be parallel. So since there are 9 differences, we multiply negative 7 by 9. We get 60, negative 63. Oops negative 63 and we just add it to 100 to find the answer which is 37 as well so we did two different ways and we got the same answer so we know we are correct the answer choice is uh, the answer to this problem is b now we're going to move on to the final problem for this video and it's going to be problem 5 now we're going to move on to problem 5 so she starts at F, and the, uh, she's trying to find the shortest distance. 
So she first drives to location A. The shortest distance from F to A is three blocks. And this is just using some common knowledge here. We're not, uh, to, we're trying to find the most efficient route. And by doing so, we don't loop around uh, and drive elsewhere that we don't need to. And the most efficient is just going down two and right to one, right one for a total of three blocks. And we can use the same method from A to B. So from A to B, we're going down three and left seven for a total of, I believe, 10 blocks. And once again, we're not looping around like this. We're just going straight to the target and going, uh, having our mind on the target and just driving toward that target. So once again, three down, seven to the left. Okay, now from B to C, pretty self-explanatory again. We just go up four and right two for a total of six. And from C to, I believe, F, we go up one and write four for a total of five blocks. And we just add this up to for this, find the shortest distance in blocks, and that equals nine plus 19, oh, no, 15, sorry, for a total of 24 blocks.